And good day. My name is Antoinette Nirvana, and you are listening to the Body and Mind interviews. Body and Mind is your health and wellness online directory for professionals. And today we are going to talk to Helen Hansen. She's a transformational facilitator. And before we get into transformational work, we're going to chat to you a little bit about who you are. Hi, Helen. How are you doing? Hi, Internet. I'm doing very well. Thank you. And you? Good. Yes, we can't complain. Very excited to chat to you. Um, so we want to first of all find out who are you? How did you get onto doing your work, transformational work, um, energy psychology, which I read in on your page on the Body and Mind website. So tell us a little bit more about who you are and how did you get onto this journey? What brought you to this point of doing your work? Yes, thank you for that question. So it's been a very interesting roundabout journey. I started more than 20 years ago working with children, hence my background with developmental psychology and early childhood development. And at that time, I had a creative theatre school. And I was using mind-body techniques back then with the children, experimenting to see how one can bring out their natural talent, how one can illuminate their confidence without them being aware of it. And so I was working back then a lot with right brain techniques and subsequently it just naturally led into therapy work. And soon I found myself working with adults as well and with full families, families of the children. But interestingly enough, I never really used it for myself. I would always try the experiments on myself. But I think I was so interested in focusing and seeing the results on the young people that I was working with at the time. But if we fast track then to 2010, I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia. And when I was at a cardiologist, because I, I thought I had a heart issue, my heart was racing a hundred to the dozen. And he said, no, you've got fibromyalgia. Your heart is fine. You need to see to this with alternative therapies. And at the time I was staying on a farm and couldn't really travel much. Also, you know, with fibromyalgia, you go through so much pain, you can barely move. So I wasn't keen to get into the car and I knew I had to do something for myself. And it took me a while, but I finally remembered, you know what, I've been working with all these different techniques for so many years with other people. Why not try it on myself? And that's how my journey of self-healing took me even deeper mind, body techniques, experiences. I developed more along the way which I refined through my own healing process and then went on to use it in many workshops and subsequently in one-on-one -on -one sessions, which is what I do today. I along the way formalized my studies with kinesiology because there was a great synergy between what I was doing and kinesiology as well. So today I bring all of that into the work that I do with a client, be it in a formal kinesiology session or if somebody comes to me for energy psychology, then we see what exactly the person needs in their developmental process right now. And then I use, if they are in person with me, I will use muscle testing to find out which process would be most appropriate for them. Otherwise, if we do Skype sessions, then I use a process of analysis. I talk with the client to make sure that they're happy with the chosen um, process that we're going to be working through. And I also work deeply with intuition at those times as well. Great. Well, well, that's exactly what I wanted to go into. The next is to tell us a little bit more about your energy psychology and, um, mm -hmm. you know, the work that you are doing. You obviously touched a little bit on the, the modalities that you are using. Um, so let's move into a little bit more detail about that. And then, you know, what type of people, because I'm seeing here people, you know, use things like guilt and blame, shame, depression, anxiety, um, concentration, trauma, things like that. So, so, you know, give us a little bit more of a background of 
the work that you are doing, the healing that you are doing, the modalities that you're using, and and the the spectrum of of issues that people have that could come to you. Mm, yes, so. I use quite a um, wide scope of modalities. Um, let's start with meridian therapy. So the meridians, you know, are parts of us between our physical body and our, if you would like to say, outer realm, the frequency around our body. And it's the communication system between the two. And there are 14 main highlighted meridians that one works with although there are actually hundreds more so in a process I would assess to see which meridian is needing attention right now and that type of information you get from the briefing of the client I also work with the time of day so which meridian is active right now and needs some support and the beautiful thing with energy psychology is as much as possible, I will be teaching the client this information. They will be running the meridians for themselves. I also teach other things like trigger point release. Um, so we go to places in the body where emotions build up and you will often find that they are painful. Certain points on the hands, certain points on the feet, certain points on the shoulders. Those are the opposite points on the hands, certain points on the feet, certain points on the shoulders. Those are the obvious ones. And it's very powerful and transformative to be able to run these meridians and release these trigger points for oneself. So it has been found through many different um, tests over the years from psychologists and biologists of various fields that People heal quicker when they heal themselves. So obviously, if I have somebody come to me in person and they've gone through a deep trauma, they're not going to be in a state to be doing almost anything for themselves. Then it's a different situation. And I'm finding that I have about um, 10 to 15 percent of my clients are trauma clients. The others just a step above so we we're not in a place of absolute shock or hopelessness we're in a place of despair but we do have some hope which is why you have the ability to actually go to somebody to assist you through this process because you can see I need assistance through this I, I need some help I need some guidance and that's a very good empowering place to be because you are then able to take charge of your situation and of your healing and then from there once we've done a short balancing in the beginning of a session I'll move on to the body of the session which is the main process for that time so it really depends on what the person is going through but um, let's say, for example, I have a business professional who is wanting to work on their career. Now, interestingly, I have a lot of my Skype clients are in this position. Not all of them, but a lot of them. And they're wanting to either up their game in their work field or choose a different path or they're getting to the point where they are realizing their life purpose is changing. So there we work with a very specific series of questions to understand what are priorities for this individual. Now, we often think we know our value system, but it goes way deeper than just the level um, thoughts of ours, than our surface thoughts, actually. So we've got I would I would say about six or seven different questionnaires, which also from there goes into breaking down any blocks that we might have around confidence, around guilt, around blame, around criticism, anything that is holding us back in any area of life, anxiety. And we look at these stories and through repetitive questioning, we break down and we create new neural pathways. And it's the repetition that's the key here to continue, 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 no matter how uncomfortable it feels until eventually this which you are creating consciously becomes an automatic subconscious pattern, which is what we want it to be, something that happens automatically.
quickly. Then we've got other types of process work which work very deeply with the body. So often when we're going through a lot of pain, a lot of grief or depression, we are numbed from our physical body and from our, our senses. And so the gesture work that we do allows one to go deep inside and reconnect with our being on a physical level, reconnect with the feelings that we're feeling on a physical level, wakening up the nervous system and facing that because it's a very uncomfortable place to be. But before we can go and start working mentally, we sometimes need to take the angle of physical. So in these um, deep depressive and, and deep um, emotional states, we come in from the physical angle. And there is a great, ah, almost like a, a shedding of uh, the skin. And we can think of that um, analogy of the onion. There really are layers that you feel at the end of this, this particular exercise. And the beauty of this is once you've done it a few times with a facilitator, you can actually start to do this on your own. So something comes up which triggers you, you go through the different motions to feel, acknowledge, name, and then release, and then come in and replace with what you really, really need. And that you ground into your body on a cellular level. I also work very deeply with the breath. You know, the breath is so powerful. It, it can release up to 70% of our toxins, be it chemical, be it emotional, be it mental. I mean, you just think about exercising and how much better you feel after having gone for a walk or a little bit of a workout, some exercise, and you've got your heart going. So that's a very important important part of every session. And again, depending on the client, if they're struggling with the in-breath or the out-breath or holding, and that we can tell from what's going on in their life and through various breathing exercises where we analyze the response of the breath. So these are just a few of some of the examples of processes that I use, but there of course are literally hundreds more. Um, and in terms of the different types of clients that we've got, um, I still do work a lot with children. I've actually got a specific program called Life Therapy, Learning Integration Fun Exercises. So assisting the child to enhance IQ and EQ or EQ. So wherever there is a, a communication breakdown happening in the the brain or in the mind body connection. I work with that. Right. Then, as I mentioned, I've got the professionals. Um, I've also got a lot of moms coming to me and they wanting to redefine themselves apart from just being a mom or they're looking at a new life purpose. And then I've got people who come who've got specific um, illness or physical pain and they're wanting to work through that from a different angle understanding that physical pain starts with emotional and mental pain and when we're able to break it down and dissolve that then our physical body is able to heal naturally thanks Annie. wow well, that's amazing and very comprehensive expl explanation. Thank you very much for that. We um, have so quickly run out of time. Please could you give us your um, contact details and how people can get hold of you, either via Skype or email address, so that um, we can put this onto our YouTube channel for you. Yes, thank you so much. So my website is helenhansen.coza, H-E-L-E-N-H-A-N-S-E-N.coza. And there you will see a link to various different pages, the kinesiology, energy, psychology, the life therapy as well, and also my healing mats. So you can get more of a description and testimonials. So go and read and see what experiences have other people had, which is always sometimes the best way of understanding a process and then you're welcome to email me helen at helenhansen.coza and my mobile number is 072-409-7664 you're welcome to whatsapp me as well 
Great, and of course, as you know, you can also go to the Body and Mind website, which is www.bodyandmind.co.za, and you can search for Helen Hansen in the search bar. You can also now download the Body and Mind app on your um, phone, Android or iPhone, and find our therapist um, on our our app that is now available on your on your phone. Thank you very much, Helen, for today's conversation. And uh, yeah, we look forward to maybe having some more discussions around your work at a later stage. Thank you so much, Antoinette. And if I can just leave um, with a final encouragement for people to go to my website and join my newsletter because you receive regular information about mind-body techniques and I also send you videos and audio downloads that you can use in your own time. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, thank you very well, thank much. Thank you very and, much. Um, we will yeah. definitely uh, look forward to your articles and hope we can see that on the Body and Mind website website and a page as well where you can yes. look for the articles written, written by oh, Helen um, on her page on the Body and Mind website. Cool. All right. Thank you very much. Um, we're going to end off today and we will speak to you again. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day. Thank you. Bye-bye.